हेलो एवरी वन इन टूडेज लेक्चर सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द मॉडर्न थ्योरी ऑफ वेजेस विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द डिमांड एंड सप्लाई थ्योरी ऑफ वेजेस सो फॉर इजी एंड सिंपल लेक्चर सेशन डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल कमल सिद्धू द मॉडर्न थ्योरी ऑफ वेजेस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द डिमांड एंड सप्लाई थ्योरी ऑफ वेजेस सो इन दिस केस वेजेज आर डिटर्मेंड बाय द डिमांड एंड सप्लाई ऑफ लेबर for uh, determination of wages it is necessary to study the demand and supply of labor and the interaction between uh, the demand and supply so first we will study the concept of demand of labor and supply of labor and uh, then relation or interaction between these two concepts uh, will help in determination of wages let's first discuss what is demand of labor the labor is demanded by various firms and companies in order to carry out their production activities the labor will be demanded as per production requirements it means if demand for goods and services is more then there will be more demand of labor and if the demand of goods and services is less then less labor will be required and the demand curve of labor is a downward slope and uh, this is due to the marginal productivity of labor then there are some other factors that directly affect the labor demand the first important factor is the technological factor it means if we apply the latest advanced technology instead of uh, labor the demand of labor will reduce then as we know that labor depends upon the demand of goods and services so we can say that labor demand is derived from the demand of goods and services then there are some other factors of uh, production like the competitors the type of firm or the company which affect the labor demand next comes the supply of labor so it is the number of workers who are willing to work on existing or prevailing wage rates suppose there are total 100 workers in a area but out of 100 only 50 are willing to work on a prevailing wage rate of rupees 400 per day so in this case the supply of labor will be 50 but not 100 as per this the wage supply curve should be straight line as wage rate is fixed at rupees 400 but the firms increases price of labor to attract labor from other firms so the supply curve is upward then after certain time period the curve slightly bends backwards as the workers decrease their working hours to have leisure time with their family then there are some other factors affecting the supply of labor force which includes the size of population if the population is large this the labor supply will be more and similarly labor mobility that is uh, movement of labor also influences the supply of labor the prevailing working environment the efficiency and skill of the labor force also have a major impact on the supply of labor apart from these factors the political factors the economic factors and psychological factors also influences the supply of labor now next is determination of wages which is explained through this graph case 1 so in this case e is the equilibrium point where demand and supply of labor is same then is the case 2 when some firms prefer paying more wages to the workers so in this case wage rate is w1 here demand will reduce but supply will be more the highlighted portion is shown with the green color shading in the graph then comes the case 3 when wage rate is very low that is uh, w2 here the demand is more but supply is less so this is sh shown as uh, shaded red in short run uh, that is in case 2 and case 3 there will be a disequilibrium so the supply and demand will not be equal but in long run there will be a stable situation and it will uh, reach the equilibrium point that is the case one so this is how we determine the wages uh, 